What is Facebook uh, advertising all about? Well, to be honest with you, uh, Facebook is um, uh, one of uh, the most expensive tool that has come uh, to be made available online for anybody who, who has sort of like curiosity uh, to venture in and uh, find uh, you know golden nuggets that they can use to promote their business what do i mean by that there was a time i think when you needed to do a keyword research or you needed to do a bit of research a market research in terms of looking at the, uh, where you could find your buyers who are the ideal people you could promote your business to and the, uh, who are your competitors what are they doing to to bring in customers and the, how, which products and services are uh, they are they are using uh, to to win a customer's loyalty uh, what are the pressure points that I can hit on when speaking to customers for them to buy from me all these bits and pieces have been aggregated and brought in inside Facebook and uh, it doesn't matter uh, what you think Facebook doesn't know about you whatever you think you uh, you are uh, you're doing in private and nobody knows or maybe anybody doesn't understand Facebook knows that Facebook has uh, a massive massive uh, collection of data from uh, 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 from all sorts of areas and if you give it just a small a piece of strand of data Facebook is going to connect all the dots and spit out uh, the kind of data you do spend millions to actually aggregate now any business can be easily conduct a full and thorough research on a market the size the viability uh, finding the buyers and stuff within 10 15 or 20 minutes so uh, in this presentation what I want you to understand is uh, making sure that uh, you get the basics of Facebook ad 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 advertising right uh, from the beginning it's the building blocks of your success in line uh, in uh, making sure that uh, uh, you your, your business is uh, successful and it's making money online and uh, the most important things you you've got to understand is uh, uh, as, as a basic understanding of how Facebook ads works is that uh, there are three basics that you need to understand uh, how a campaign is built and the, um, when you you're building a, a campaign uh, that's sort of like uh, the the beginning or the starting point of uh, killing it or dominating your your uh, your market so the activities what you need to do uh, at this particular level when you're building your your campaign okay uh, then from there you also need to understand um, things that you have to be on point when you are building your uh, uh, your, uh, your your Facebook advertising uh, uh, campaign uh, on the on an ad set level a lot of people get this all wrong because um, when you are building the whole concept of advertising uh, they look at the Facebook uh, as a, a tool that's uh, that's gonna give them all the bits and pieces and then if they go in there connect the dots and the everything is is um, is, is perfect set then he, uh, then they are ready to go uh, what Facebook uh, is looking for is for you to go and do all the other bits and pieces outside then come in into Facebook then help Facebook achieve what you want to do so all the um, all the bits and pieces that you want to do like uh, targeting and uh, finding your audiences and the uh, fine-tuning your campaign uh, you know things that you need to do to make sure that uh, 
uh, you get all the meat and potatoes together so that uh, your your ad set is ready to save you the way how you want it and give you the results you want all that sort of work is done at uh, an ad set level now when you move down and you go to uh, to actually the ads themselves this is where I sort of like what your customer would, would, would see as a finished product. This is what is the, um, you know, a, a finished product that your customer is going to interact with. So if you've created an advert about, but, um, let's say maybe uh, a cosmetics, a, a cosmetic product line that you're launching, uh, the uh, all the works, the works, or the, the artwork and the way how the ad is saved and stuff like that, um, is created in the background but the actual uh, ad set the actual ads that are shown in front of Facebook they are done at an ads level this is where you sort of like show everything that you've been working on uh, to your customers so if you understand these basics and you understand the way how uh, you get there and the what sort of data you need to connect to collect and connect that's the most important thing you have to uh, to make sure that you get it right all right now uh, a lot of you guys probably you're wondering is it worth advertising on facebook hell yeah it is extremely uh, very very profitable for anybody who is the uh, contemplating of advertising on Facebook and I wouldn't have it in any other way but you also have to understand that there are ways that you have to uh, to make sure that you get it right and there are there are others who are advertising on Facebook just because everybody is advertising on Facebook and then there are others who have found you know they are very very methodical at the way how they do things and that's what we are talking about here it's not about how much money you can go and splash on facebook uh, you see a lot of hype going on oh i i spent 30 dollars i spent 100 dollars and i made 10000 yes people are making that kind of money but what they are not showing you what they are not sharing with you is the what else did they do before they advertised on Facebook for them to get that kind of results? So what they're showing you is just a finished product. And what we're doing in this workshop is to help you see the, the behind the scenes that nobody is sharing to help you understand how, uh, how worthy uh, or how Facebook, um, how advertising on Facebook is worth uh, any of your time. Uh, now, let me just bring you this. This is a, a blog system that we normally promote. The one, the, the, the blogging system that we are talking about helping you build the, the authority blog launch. Behind the, you know, the sort of like the system that runs the stuff behind the, the whole blogging system um, is what you're seeing in front of me here. I know it looks complicated and probably maybe you're, you're wondering, hell no, how could I even imagine building something like that because it looks a little bit complicated it's not because um what we've just done is sort of like mapped out the whole process of what is happening behind the scenes and the uh, sort of like opened the the boot so that you can see inside uh, inside the hood but uh, a lot of the things that we would be helping you as you build your uh, your your business uh, and your your launching your business uh, is a lot easier and anybody can do it all right so the idea or the best way how to use Facebook for advertising uh, and if you want to make money uh, in an ideal world is uh, to make sure that uh, you map out uh, the uh, a system like this that's in front of you Okay, so uh, possibly some of you, uh, you, you're asking, why are you bringing up this um, uh, layout of uh, a blogging system when you're talking about Facebook ads? And uh, you probably um, don't understand the, the whole concept of uh, uh, Facebook ads. And uh, as a beginner, you're wondering, 
shouldn't I be learning how to set up my Facebook account and how to do um, all sorts of things that uh, I need to know uh, or maybe how to create an ad and stuff like that. I will, I will try and walk you through those uh, basic uh, setups that you need to go through. But what I also want to point out is uh, there is quite a lot of uh, information available uh, on YouTube as well as on a uh, on on blogs that clearly shows you how to set up uh, a, an account uh, and a Facebook ads account. Uh, so if, if uh, I'm gonna create a video on how to walk you through doing that, um, I'm gonna do it not necessarily because I think most guys haven't done a good job on showing you how to do it. They've uh, there's uh, some good resources out there. So uh, my main focus in the, this uh, module is uh, to tackle areas where I think uh, they are leaving so many gaps that I think uh, those gaps are, are costing uh, small businesses like you guys um, a great deal of money uh, simply because you don't understand the, uh, the, the how uh, the whole system works. That's the main purpose. Uh, now you probably are wondering so okay you having put that out of the way how does advertising facebook uh, that's been done rightly uh, how does it work uh, I'll, 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 I'll still go back to the system the system that i was showing you what is um what this system is showing you is the uh, a tracking mechanism that has been put in place strategically to help you uh, uh, offer uh, a service that's tailored to a customer's needs. Uh, what Facebook does is it provides you with uh, tools that as a small business owner probably you can't afford spending money to, uh, to, to collect data, aggregate that data, sort that data and the maintain it maintain that sort of data at a level facebook does so that when you want to use it you go and and use that data every decision you're going to make in business is going to be based on the fact that you are reading a certain set of data and the data is telling you to do a b c d e and if you are making decisions in your business that doesn't involve uh, collecting data and reading that sort of data correctly you shooting in the dark and the chances of making a success out of your business efforts are pretty much zero yes they say even a, um, a blind squirrel every now and then would get lucky and find a nut but uh, these are not the times where you have to run a business by uh, by uh, by hoping that if you are wearing your lucky pants that day then you're going to get a sale no you need to be certain whenever you're making a decision that what i'm doing now is gonna get the results that i need to and facebook is a, a, a is, is a tool that's helping a, a lot of people uh, to do that but it's not complete it won't give you the results you want if you just pick it up and start throwing it um, at your customers and hoping that uh, it's going to stick facebook won't work for you what Facebook, the, the way how Facebook works is the, uh, what I'm trying to share with you here. Put a system that's going to help Facebook use its massive resources to provide the results that you want. Which means certain activities that um, needs to help Facebook uh, deliver the results you want for your ads, they, they are going to have to take place outside of Facebook. And the if you're wondering and asking yourself uh, what this system does, the system that we are showing you, the way how you should build your 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 e-commerce website, the way how you should build your your blog system, the way how you should build your uh, your authority website, is um, is is to help you structure your website so that it can help gather a little bit of information and track at the same time activities that are happening inside your business so that whenever you are 
taking that piece of data and pass it over to Facebook, Facebook should be able to interpret it exactly the same way how you would have wanted Facebook to help you sort of like uh, delve deeper into uh, what Facebook is, um, has in store in its, in its browse. For example, let's say um, you, have, um, you have a customer who who bought uh, who bought a product um, a, a product from your website, and th this customer provided an email when checking out. They the customer paid and provided an email, and the, the very same email is what that customer has used to sign up for an account on Facebook. So you you and Facebook now you're sharing a certain piece of data on somebody. Uh, who happens to be uh, a very, very valuable asset that you want. So if you go on Facebook and say, I want, I want you to give me a, 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 um, 200 customers every day, and those 200 customers should look like exactly as this customer who came and bought this product off my website. And this is, uh, this is his or her email. So what Facebook does is Facebook is going to take that piece of uh, email data, interpret it, aggregate it, and then uh, break it down so that it can connect the dots and give you a spitting image of another set of 200 customers every day, in bringing them into your business because they, they, they act, they behave, and they share the same qualities like somebody who came and bought a product of your website last week. That's how you should be using website. And the only way you can go on Facebook and ask Facebook to give you that piece of, uh, you know, slice share of a customer base it has is only if you are able to track and collect data on your website. And the system that enables you to track and collect uh, data on your website when you build it is this system that I'm showing you right, right here in front of you. So if the question really shouldn't be, uh, how does Facebook advertise? I mean, ad uh, adverts work? If you if you're wondering how how does the advertising on Facebook work, that's the way how it works. You first. The best way to uh, to get the results that you want is to first collect a tiny amount of data that you want to go and ask Facebook to help you figure out who could be the majority of customers that you would want to come to your business. But before you start, before you do that, you need to build a system that can track, collect data, track that, you know, uh, break down that sort of data and, and track the customer in a way that it enables you to sort of like say, okay, if I want uh, customers who are under the age of 20, they live in uh, London. They earn about uh, seventy-five thousand pounds every every year. They are single, but uh, they are also of Asian origin, or maybe they are Africans, or maybe they are uh, Caucasian. You should be able to collect that. And this system that I'm sharing with you, that we're building here, works very well. To answer this question that you're asking here say how does the uh, advertising on Facebook work so I'm gonna break down uh, this whole system how the way how it works and the way how we are using uh, in our system uh, in our business and the how we are leveraging our system to make sure uh, that uh, you get uh, that opportunity uh, where now you are able to uh, to uh, recruit customers that are loyal customers that are spending money customers that are ready to buy and customers that are willing to go all the way all right so how do you advertise on facebook let me just uh, help you here because a lot of people um talk about advertising on facebook as a uh, something that's very difficult it's not really difficult if you want to save a, a bit of money and uh, sort of like get the 
uh, get precisely people you want your ad to uh, to appeal and the people who are going to be convinced uh, in buying into uh, the idea of uh, uh, of your business and stuff like that you really have to understand uh, that uh, there is a method to uh, to this whole thing that you have to apply so um, let me just um, see if I can uh, okay okay so um, <clears throat> Okay, let me just uh, create a new board here and uh, I should be able to walk you and show you um, a little bit the way how Facebook works and the, the way how uh, we are using it in our business so that uh, uh, we sort of like filter out uh, the kind of customers that we want uh, to bring in in our business. All right. So uh, let's say that uh, this is a uh, this is a, a Facebook. All right. And uh, this is. Um, I say, I'll say it's, it's a landing page. All right. And uh, I'm going to put here this. This is your this is your database. All right. And then uh, let me bring this bad boy here. Bad boy come here. Okay, so this bad boy here, uh, is your YouTube. All right. And here, this is uh, this is your uh, thank you thank you page. All right. So, if you if you if you are wondering and asking yourself, how does uh, um, these um, uh, Facebook um, um, advertising on Facebook works the way how uh, we are using Facebook ads in our business uh, is is really very simple so we have Facebook here uh, we have YouTube here uh, but uh, uh, we also have uh, let me just uh, quickly put it here um, we have Pinterest Uh, and uh, we have our Insta, so Insta database come here. Uh, OK, 
Okay. So, this is my system, right? Uh, forget everything that you know about uh, advertising on Facebook. Listen to what is happening here. Because if you get this right now, if you get it right now, even if you just get uh, 30 or 20 percent of what is happening here correct, then uh, every problem you've had uh, in terms of advertising uh, on Facebook uh, is sorted out. You are okay, you'll be perfectly fine, uh, you won't lose any money. So, what happens? Okay, so um, I, I have a YouTube channel, right. I have a YouTube channel here. I create a video. I post on my YouTube channel, and uh, people come and watch my YouTube channel. Uh, I mean, my 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 YouTube uh, video. Uh, and uh, uh, in that YouTube video, I I issue a call to action, guys. Uh, there's a link below this video where um, you can download uh, uh, a, a cheat sheet for how to set up a website. Uh, in, in record time or maybe it could be I'm giving you guys a, a, a coupon for uh, six months uh, free web hosting all right now all you have to do is just go under this video uh, click that link and you're gonna go and uh, download uh, uh, that 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 ebook so uh, let's say every day I have 1,000 uh, people who come and watch this video and out of that 1,000 people uh, they, they, they go below the video and then they click the link which takes them to here, the landing page. This landing page here, that's my website. All right. That's my website here. Now. Uh, there are two things that actually happens when a customer lands here. Number one, when what we are saying is, when you are building your blog, when you're building your website here, what you need to do, the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that uh, this landing page is prepared to save you in the future so that you can uh, collect, track, and promote your business using the data that you are aggregating on this landing page as well as uh, by leveraging these uh, tools on the left hand side here. So how, how are you going to do that? The way how you do that is you go to Facebook and then you ask Facebook to give you what we call a pixel that you're going to, uh, to place here. Now, for some of you guys, probably maybe you don't know what a pixel is. A pixel is just a piece of code that Facebook gives you for free that you can actually apply it anywhere in within your landing page, uh, within your website. That helps you to collect data that Facebook needs to help you uh, 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 interpret data that Facebook has on its website. Now, when you place that pixel here, any customer who comes off YouTube and lands on your website, they get pixeled, they get tagged, right? And the second thing is, when a customer comes here, what you are asking the customer is to give you an email so that they can get access to whatever you're offering them. So if you're offering them a coupon, you you say okay you need a coupon enter your name and your email to get the coupon so they will give you the the email here and that email is is a uh, 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 is um, immediately uh, sent into this database so you have a first uh, a first piece of uh, uh, data a data set that you would want in the future when you want to create an ad on Facebook, the first, the first piece of data is the, that piece of email. Secondly, when supposing this customer here, once they, uh, they've given you an, uh, their email and they've uh, 
uh, submitted that email, you've, you've collected the email, the next thing you do is you send them to a thank you page to say thank you James, thank you Joanna for subscribing today and because you have shown that you have trusted me in doing ABCDE, I'm going to reward you by offering you uh, the first, um, you know, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, I'm offering you a first, uh, the first uh, 12 months of web hosting for free. And all you have to do is sign up for 18 months, which means if you pay for, uh, for six months, I'm going to give you 18 months instead of giving you 12 months. And that's not all. If you buy 18 months, I'm going to throw in on top of that uh, a course or maybe something else that you want to give. So here, what is happening here is you're not only saying thank you, but you're also taking an opportunity uh, to, uh, to help the customer make a commitment. And what actually is happening here is uh, a customer, once they see that offer there uh, if they if they take you upon your offer and they make their first buy all right if they make the first purchase then uh, immediately this uh, this customer has just translated from being a lead into a buyer and that's a huge step. So what happens there? Okay, so anybody who comes on this page, you're also going to pixel them. You're going to tag them that anybody who comes on this page and they make a commitment, buy a product and land, land on this um, uh, page here where they've bought a product and then uh, they go to a checkout page, you also pixel them. And the same thing applies from Pinterest. People who come on Pinterest, you, you they look at what you put in place. Uh, they want a piece of content uh, that you're, you're giving out for free, which is called a lead magnet. They go to the landing page. They get pixeled. They download the product. Their email is sent in here. Uh, you send them to a thank you page. If you're on the thank you page, they're happy to commit, to make a commitment and buy the first product that you offer them. They'll buy the first product that you offer them. If they are not happy, they'll bounce off. That's that's perfectly fine. Now, the magic for Facebook when you go and uh, when you go to Facebook and start advertising now is when you go to Facebook, you ask Facebook, you say, Facebook, I want you to give me people who have been on my landing page, but they haven't given me their email. And they left. I want you to give me that set of people. So Facebook is going to find those people and give you here because you tagged them here. And you you will also say, okay, but I also need a, another group of people who came here and gave me their email. And uh, they only uh, uh, got to a thank you page. So anybody who has been on the landing page and g given their email and ended up on a thank you page, they got tagged there. Uh, you, uh, Facebook is going to find them and put them in a bundle here waiting for you, whatever you want Facebook to do with them. And another set of people who committed and bought the first product and ended up on the checkout page, Facebook is also going to find them. Now, that's not all, but you're also going to go into your database and say, Facebook, this database of um people that I have in here, I want you to go out and find me people who look like these people who subscribed to this email list. And Facebook is going to also find those people to help you uh, sort of like narrow down the people that your ad should be showing to. Now what is going to happen is when you have collected that uh, you go to Facebook 
uh, and the, uh, you you create your ad and you drive people back to your to your website so what happens is when you go on Facebook you have created your ad here the ad is only going to be you you can instruct Facebook to say okay this face this ad I want you to show this ad to people who have been on my website and they gave me their email but they never bought anything so Facebook will go and show that ad to those people and that's not all all right that's not all if you go um, outside of uh, let's say outside of Facebook uh, to to Google right and you say Facebook I've created my beautiful ad but I want you um, to help me find people who are on, who are on, are on Google who are googling on Google using uh, keywords like this but they have also been on the uh, on my landing page and uh, they have either bought a product uh, or maybe um, they have provided me an email but they haven't bought a product yet so uh, Facebook will also follow them people to uh, to go on um, uh, on uh, on these uh, on, uh, on uh, uh, into google and find those people who have interacted with your pieces of content but they are also searching for a certain set of keywords these guys who are doing that on facebook they are extremely intentional they are using keywords that are that are buyer intentional keywords those are the kind of people you want to promote your products to those are the kind of people you want to create an ad and uh, help to promote your business to what if i turn around and say okay i want to advertise on youtube it's the same thing it's the same concept you you go to uh, you go to google and say google i'm i'm creating this ad this ad set the ad set that I'm creating on in this campaign, I want you to show this to only people uh, who are watching videos like ABCDE, people who are who have interacted with my content. How do you do that? You also use use the uh, Facebook tracking uh, mechanism to do that. So you 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 see now how essential and how the, the central role that facebook uh, is playing for you to actually move around and the, move the dice on the table without actually uh, having to struggle with anything so a lot of people um who are sort of like uh, uh, going on facebook and the setting out ads they are telling you go on facebook create an ad and the uh, or boost a post and let it run and hope that it's gonna it's going to work that's not the way how it works uh, chances of you converting people who are like that people who have never interacted with your content people who doesn't even know uh, what you believe in or maybe what your brand is all about they are not gonna they are, they are not gonna be people who are going to trust you and you whip out their wallet and buy a product but when you advertise to people who have come into contact with your brand before people who have seen uh, the value that you deliver people who have interacted with your pieces of content you create on pinterest on instagram even on facebook itself um, they are more than likely to say okay i know this what's going on uh, probably some of you guys uh, you've been on Facebook uh, you've been on Facebook or maybe you've been on somebody's blog you've read a certain piece of content there uh, you've seen an ad and then you you go to Facebook and then immediately these ads are showing up as well be like I was on this person's blog why is this image uh, showing up in here it's because the the owner of that blog has put in a a, a, a a pixel that tags you so anytime when you visit facebook if they have a, an ad campaign going on they say hey remember me you came to my blog P you know such kind of pieces of content because you've already interacted of, with content on their blog 
becomes a little bit more friendly. You tolerate that. Psychologically, you say, okay, I'll give you a chance. What, what have you got to say for yourself? That's the kind of advertising strategy you have to put in place and apply when you're contemplating of using uh, paid traffic from Facebook. I see a lot of people waving uh, checks on Facebook saying, oh, look at what I've done. I've done drop shipping with A, B, C, D, E, and this is, this is the kind of money I'm making and stuff like that. What they are not telling you is... Uh, They've, they've, they've had to do a bit of heavy lifting before. They've created a system in place that can track. They created a system in place that can tag, a system that can collect you know, data like emails and the, uh, whether it's text messages and all sorts of things. Uh, and now they're utilizing that to retarget the customer. They... The, you know, the buzzword here is the retargeting. If you, if you master the whole system, the way how it, it works, and you know how to retarget the customers that are dealing, that are coming into contact with your content that you're creating online, advertising uh, or with Facebook or Facebook advertising is going to be a lot easier and more profitable for you than chancing it off, hoping that... Um, it's just gonna work because you want it to work all right okay so um i've, I've been rambling for over half an hour now and i think uh, uh i'm gonna have to uh, uh to stop from here otherwise uh, some of you guys uh, might end up summoning me to answer some charges for keeping uh, for keeping you guys long on this call so like i've said uh the next video that uh, we are shooting out uh, into your email boxes, into your in inboxes, will be defining goals on the, uh, defining goals on the, uh, how you want to drive the traffic into your uh, into your business. Are you gonna use organic uh, traffic only? So if if that's the case, then uh, a small portion of you guys who are going to focus on the organic traffic and stuff like that, then you would be moving on into looking at uh, you know, how to uh, optimize uh, your your you know your your blog uh, for uh, for Google rankings as well as the uh, the other search engines that are available what, what what sort of content can you create for your youtube channels what about content that you're creating for instagram uh what about content for pinterest and stuff like that uh but i, I wouldn't advise you to ignore uh the uh, putting in place you know uh, in place uh, uh preparations um i think i think uh my broken uh, my broken uh, French is what they call me Zen Plus, putting in place things that you need for your service in the future, even when you don't need them. So you just have to put them in place, just getting ready, so that whenever you need them, you just uh, turn around and pick it and run with it. So uh, even if you feel like you're not going to use Facebook uh, for advertising to bring in paid traffic to your uh, to your business, it's important that you learn these skills and understand what it is. So the next modules uh, that are coming out, uh, they will be looking at how you go, how you can set your uh, your ads, how you can set your campaign, how to to set your ad sets, uh, how to to create your ads, and uh, now then uh, looking at. Uh, uh, tracking your daily budget or your weekly budgets and stuff like that. But beyond that, uh, we we want to look at these on the on the basis of long-term goals and short-term goals, as well as the uh, uh, um, as other um, you know uh, uh, dimensions that we would be able to look at this and uh, see what's the best way for us to make sure that we maximize the resources we have in hand. All right, all right, guys. Good night. Cheers.